of the West End's biggest theatre owners, NIMAX, says news that the roadmap out of lockdown is on target has led to a surge in ticket sales. The company, which runs some of the biggest stages in the capital, says audiences are preparing to return to auditoriums. I've been speaking to their co-owner, Nika Burns, about the challenges the West End has faced and a new initiative aimed at giving young producers a fighting chance post-pandemic. Well, they're absolutely fantastic. I mean, we're really feeling that there's big pent-up demand to get out and come and see a great show. So tickets are actually flying out the door. So um, I do say to everybody, get pick your phone up because isn't it time just to come into a theatre, get out, come into the theatre and have a great evening's entertainment. Oh, so ready for it. This is such a great time to actually welcome the next generation of great theatre makers. Uh, there's been, isn't there a change in the air after COVID and these travel days of lockdown? And there's something exciting about giving opportunity and taking some uh, challenges uh, these guys are doing, and they're all new work. So we're still going to have six back brilliant musical, and we're talking about Jamie, the play that goes wrong, but alongside it is just some really exciting work. And I think that people are ready to go out now. And um, this is something slightly different, but also very good. So it's just a good time. What do you think? Oh, I'm ready to get back to the theatre, absolutely. <laughs> get me back. <laughs> um, and in terms of for you, getting the spaces ready for, for audiences to come back, obviously at the moment in terms of guidance, we're war working towards that date in May, but then five weeks later, the regulations and rules change again. How are you navigating that in your theatres? Well, for us, it's a bit easier than, than a lot of other theatres because we're already going to be open with social distancing. So it's, we can adapt very quickly to opening without social distancing. But these big shows like Harry Potter and Hamilton and uh, Mary Poppins, they take quite a long time to restart the engine. I mean, they're huge. So you've got to get all your actors back into rehearsals, you've got, you've got marketing and promo out. And... The moment you get go, it will take those kind of performances uh, uh, something like three to four months to actually restart. So we are going to be running this festival from May the 17th through the summer until the autumn, uh, because that's when the big show, Harry Potter, coming back later, getting all back together again. And we're going to have that, all these great young people's shows in the meantime. Yeah. It's a perfect opportunity for them. Um, in terms of something like you mentioned, Harry Potter, where there's so many moving parts to get ready for, how big a job is it to get ready to start again after having a break of such a long time? Oh, it's huge. Uh, you know, sometimes uh, somebody might have lost some of your cast. Um, sometimes uh, they, there's just so much to put together. It's like, can you imagine, it's this... It's like a really, really big jigsaw with lots of tiny pieces. <laughs> it's very hard to put back. And you have to rehearse everything again. You've got to make sure the light's back in the right place. All the magic that's created works. Um, so uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's at least, you know, 12 weeks to be able to, get to do all of that. And the moment we know from the government whether we, we can go without social distancing, they will press all the buttons for the big shows, but most of them won't be able to come back till the end of the summer. Nika Burns there, and we'll be hearing from one of the young theatre makers who's part of the Rising Stars Festival later on in the programme.